You're looking at my sales and profit report opened up in report view and down below you can see all my records are grouped by book title for example pizza combinations and down below all the clients who purchased that book quantity sold transaction date the total sold of all the books to the different clients what we have in stock and on order what I'd like to do is I'd like to add these two fields up so I'm gonna be adding a third field call it the total inventory that we'll be adding the in stock and on order and in this example give me a total of 80 to add a summary field or a field that will add up other values within your report here come up here and right click and change it to design view and as a quick review down below I've got the records here in the details section but these records are grouped by the book title so I have my book title header section just above it with the labels for all the records the customer name for the customer fields down below and then before the group closes down the footer of the groups we'll have the totals of all the records sold what we have in stock and on order and then what I'd like to do is add another total inventory field to do that I want to come up here on the design tab to the controls group and click on the text box AB button come down here and you can see my pointer turns into a plus sign that wherever I click will add my label and my unbound text box meaning it's not bound to any field at least yet I'm gonna create a formula in here that will bind it or at least add up these two fields here in stock and on order now in order to create that formula I need to know the names of these fields here and the way to find out is to bring up the property sheet by double clicking on the border real fast here for in stock brings it up or right click to properties in any case come over here on the alt tab and I can either use the name here or the control source name it doesn't matter either one will work and they're both in stock now again I need to make sure I spell it correctly so I've got the spelling right here it, what's in caps doesn't matter so you don't have to concern yourself with that so I have in stock the next one let me make sure I got it spelled right on order I have on order two and on order again I can use either one of these when it comes to creating my formula in the unbound text box here so when I select it come up here on the alt tab to the control source and go ahead and type in the formula equals open square brackets because within my square brackets it's going to define the field the first one will be in stock now I can have on order first it doesn't matter at least when it comes to this formula when I'm adding two fields up here close square brackets plus and then open square brackets on order remember use the name that was given to it or the name of the control source the name that was given to it within this report was on order too. close square brackets now when I'm finished I want to make sure I hit enter on the keyboard because the moment I exit this field here after I enter my formula if access finds any problems with it it'll let me know so I'll hit enter so far so good let's take it for a test drive click on the drop down arrow change my views to print preview and there it is it's adding up these two fields here except it doesn't look aesthetically pleasing I don't even have a label called total inventory so I need to go back to a couple of design changes first of all change this from text 150 to total inventory I can leave it orange or change it to match the colors here burgundy it looks like also change that to match burgundy and then maybe something that will separate uh, my groups here a line in between each group pizza combinations most haunted and so on so I'm gonna go ahead and right click and go back to my design view I want to match the colors and I can do that by clicking on the label or a text box here and coming up to the design tab to the font group and using my format painter brush for this to work I have to select the uh, format that I want to copy and it's going to be within the label here click on the brush it copied it now I just need to click on the text box or the label here that I want to apply that formatting to so I click on here applies the formatting in this case the only formatting really here is just burgundy click on the paintbrush again because I want to copy that formatting and apply it to my text box here in stock click on it changes the color next I want to bring these boxes closer together I'll just click and drag the left um, corner of my label here and move it in push it closer here and then next let me change the label in fact and call it and then hit enter and I need to move it over just a little bit so it's not crossing over into the in stock here in fact let's do this let's go ahead and take the inventory label in its text box and align it to the bottom with on order if you recall in the earlier training video to do that just shift click all the boxes that we want to align them to and in this case we want to take the lowest most box either it's the label here or the text box and align all the other controls to that lowest or that bottom field there so after I select them all come up here and click on the arrange tab to the control alignment group and click on the bottom button and again label the text box that's at the bottom here will pull all the others and match it so it lines with um, that one that's in this case closest to the bottom of the page footer bar and then I can just click off in a blank area then maybe want to click my total inventory label its upper left handle here and drag it a little bit closer to its text box here 
And then finally, something that will break my group. So at the end of the book footer here, add a line. So at the end of my group, when it starts the next group, I've got something that separates it a bit more here. So come up here on the Design tab to the Controls group. Click on the Line button. Come down here, and I'm going to click and drag a line. Now, if I'm not dragging a straight line, I get something like this, like a, a rectangle. So I need to get it down so I can't even see the line. If it disappears, don't worry, you're drawing it. That's good. So come all the way over here. Let go, it adds the line. Click off in a blank area. It's a gray line. I don't know if you can see that. But if I want the line to match another color of one of the text boxes, well, the format paintbrush isn't going to work. But a way around that is to come over here and, like, for example, click on the label, one of these labels, on order. Go to the property sheet and try to find out what the four color is. And it's right here on the Alt tab. It's uh, pound sign F-O-O-1-B. Looks like HTML coding here for colors. Well, in any case, go ahead and select it. Control C to copy that color. Once you copy that code there, then go ahead and select your line. Now, if you have a problem, again, clicking on objects that you added to your design, like I can't seem to click on the line, over in the property sheet, click on the selection drop down arrow and look for something that begins with line here. There it is, line 152. Well, I don't have any other lines, so the moment I select it, it selects the line down below. It might be wise when you add objects and fields and so forth that you come over here and you give it a name like this is the closed group line. In any case, I'm not concerned with it right now because it's the only line I have. But in any case, once I have it selected, okay, and then come down here on the All tab, and I'm looking at the border color. Go ahead and select the coding there. Control V and Victor to paste over the foreground color that I copied from the label box here. And then just hit Enter. Click off in a blank area. And there we go. The line now has changed uh, the matching color. As far as the line goes, if I want to make it thicker or change the style of it so it's not a straight line, again, you're looking at the Design tab, Controls group, changing the line color here. I won't. Changing the style of it, maybe dashes, and then maybe changing the width from a single point to a two point. Click on it, make it thicker, click off in a blank area. That's what it looks like. Now to take it for a test drive, I'm going to right click on the tab here and go down to Print Preview. Of course, I could stretch that line a little bit further over to the left so it's right up against the uh, beginning of my group here. But other than that, looks great. My total inventory, 80, adds up these two here. I like it. Let's print this. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos. And for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.